Hi, today we're here with Arizel. She's a caregiver and a CNA. And in a last video we did, we looked at uh, the ways that a caregiver can properly cope and ways that they should not cope with the stresses that come with being a caregiver. In this video, we're going to look at what happens when you don't properly cope. So, Arizel, what are some things that happen if you don't properly cope with the stresses of being a caregiver? Well, I definitely think that as a caregiver, you just get burnt out. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you just, it's overwhelming. And you just become less effective at your job. Yeah, we don't want that. We want you to be fully engaged, right? What are some other things that happen? Uh, you become less compassionate um, and eventually just detached from your client. Hmm. Yeah, that's rough because in home care, compassion is such a key ingredient in what you're doing. And so for that to, to be out of the equation, for you to be less compassionate, it will create a poor experience, I imagine, for your client. Yeah, if you find yourself becoming feeling burnt out or less effective or less compassionate or detached from your client, I encourage you to check out our other video and do some of those things to properly cope with the stresses that are there. Uh, if we can be a resource for you, we'd love to do that. You're welcome to call our office or check out our website. And uh, we're so grateful that you're watching. Thanks, Arizona. You're welcome.